Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Captain Kurt here. Hey, we just made a video introducing the new 2022 Gen 4 fly pod that's out. As you can see, there's uh, quite a bit of difference. The biggest thing is the seat that we're using. More than just great looks, there's a lot of features and a lot of reasons why we went to this type of seating. And you can see that in the other video. It's called uh, brand, uh, New Gen 4 Fly Pod. And you can see the difference in the old Gen 3 fly pods and this. And this is the fourth generation of, of changes that have been made to the FlyPod. Been the best-selling trike on the market for a long time. For, but for you guys that are coming in and have already been uh, flying the Gen 3 FlyPod and maybe you're going to get the, the new Gen 4, I want you to know something that when you unbox it, when you get it home, when you hook up your motor, before you go flying, you have to re, you have to get in a simulator because you're going to be using a different hole for, the, for your center of gravity. Uh, for your for your hang points, so that's up here. So keep in mind, you're going to be much more forward than you were before. Go ahead and take it back. You're going to be much more forward. So you're going to be using a totally different hole. If you use the same hole that you're used to for where you hang, then the front end is going to stay on the ground and on takeoff, it's going to start to lift the back end first, and that could roll you over. Whenever you're hanging in the fly pod and you uh, you put you sit in it with your feet uh, adjusted the way you're going to have them up on the steering and you should see the front wheel about a half a tire to a tire higher than the rear when you're actually sitting in it motor uh, fastened to it and exactly the way you're going to be flying the front end needs to come off the ground first so that uh, and it's also the last thing that touches the ground after a landing you want the back wheels to touch first obviously but if you think you're going to take your gen 3 fly pod and you're used to flying from the third hole or fourth hole you're going to have to change that so you need to get into a simulator and that's nothing more than lifting it off the ground just so it's off the ground so you can actually sit in it and have somebody from the side just eyeball it to where you're hanging in a hole that leaves the front end about a half a tire to a tire higher than the back tires and that that way you know you're using the correct cg hole up here so i just want to say that so you guys that are getting the new gen 4 Make sure you do that before you go flying. You're going to be very surprised when the, when the rear end comes off the ground first and the front wheel's still on the ground. Just thought I'd share that with you. I want it, I want it known, so be careful with that. God bless. Take care.